What's going on, YouTube? We are back in this disaster of a situation. And we are going to work on digging out this sewer area because it's all dirt. And I guess they didn't, they didn't, uh, one second. Forgive me, YouTube, I'm going to be digging with a joint, uh, I don't know why I always have trouble with this, um, this thing, how do they call it, putty knife, be digging with a putty knife, because why not, works great, But yeah, we're going to put some quick -crete concrete in here. Kind of seal this up. So I'm going to get all this nasty, loose stuff out of here for at least a few inches. Yeah, especially all this loose concrete on the side. Which, now that I look at it, Man, it does look like it's been sort of hollowed out by something. And I think between worms... Settling, earthquake. Um, heaven knows what else. This stuff is really. Lord knows how solid the dirt is under this foundation. I'm sure there's some cracking under that wood floor because the, the slope is all messed up. Now, why isn't that? Broken tile in here or something? Here go. I'll just bury all my trash next to the sewer. Notice I have something covering the uh, sewer outlet, not just for the smell, but because you don't want to dump a bunch of dirt or concrete or really anything down your sewer. Actually, you know, I got half a mind to wash off some of these rocks because, to be honest, rocks are perfectly fine to add to the uh, concrete. Um, they'll take up a little bit of volume and they'll be plenty strong for the purpose that I need them for. So maybe I will wash these off. Some of them, anyways. Oh, like that's a solid piece. That's a nice solid piece. Solid piece. I mean, I could save every little rock, but that's a little excessive. Speaking of which, get a bit.
I'm just trying to rake some of this big stuff up. Just a little bit. specifically for this purpose. Digging out just a little bit under the pipe right here so that I can have a little bit of concrete under that as well that's tied into everything so this thing isn't shaking around. It's actually fairly solid, which is good. Um, we got this weird threaded dealio in here, but it seems uh, fairly secure, as nasty as I'm sure it is.
Alright, that's most of it out. Let's see if I can kind of... This is really going to help the concrete not settle, which it's going to probably do, or at least it's going to try to do. And of course you avoid that by putting down either bigger pieces of concrete. Uh, you might tie it into this concrete by drilling in bolts and anchors and all sorts of... God, this side is so loose. Bolts and anchors. Um, I'm not reinforcing this concrete with any rebar because it's such a small area. And it doesn't exactly serve a structural purpose. I mean, I might have some boards on top of it, but it's not... It's mostly there just to stabilize the pipe under the toilet and to seal any moisture from coming up, or at least seal a bulk of moisture from coming up. But yeah, you don't want to put a bunch of concrete on loose dirt because then it's not going to really be able to push against anything hard. So you have something that's very strong to push against, but then it's pushing against something very soft, and that's kind of a bad situation. Alright, that's at least good enough for now. I might give it just a little more lift before I... Um, before I do it, because it's probably going to dry out a little bit. Um, since all this dirt was sort of dug up and was previously covered with dirt, it's still pretty moist. But it's okay if it's a little moist, because honestly the concrete will probably absorb most of that anyways. Take that piece of wood out of there, but I don't really care about the rest of this junk. Oh, there's that dirt too. Well, I guess I'll just leave that dirt. It's fine. Alright, so... This area is ready for concrete with just a, uh, I'm going to clean up the edges a little bit with a brush or, you know, maybe a, a like a nylon brush because I want the concrete to stick even though I'm not going to rebar it or anything. There's enough roughness here that it'll have some amount of stickiness. I just need to kind of not cover every square inch with dirt, brush it off a little bit when I, when I do it. So now that we've done that... I will, first let me go dump this dirt real quick. Tell the dogs get excited when I go visit them on the other side of the fence. When I go outside, they're very attentive. They're kind of like a free alarm system. I like to tell myself, maybe I'll wash that a little bit. Actually, that's that's nasty. That's just like some fucking. Oh no. So we're gonna go get some water, wash these up a little bit, and I'll be back in a just a minute and we'll get some of this wood out and some of this sheetrock out. 